Hey ladies, happy Friday. I thought I would jump in at lunchtime, a little bit of music in the background and say hi and talk a little bit more about getting clients. But I might just wait a minute and see if there is anybody around who wants to come and say hi and join. Make sure that if you join, you say hi and let me know you're there. And if you've got any questions, then obviously make sure you drop them in and I will try and get to them. All right, so I'm just gonna wait a minute. I'm gonna shut a few things down because it's saying that my connection is weak. So I'm hoping that you can see it okay. Just gonna check on my computer as well and just refresh. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'm gonna get started as well um, and just dive in. So today, I know that the other day I did a Facebook Live on how to get more clients. And so, and that seemed really popular because obviously that's what we all want. So I wanted to give you a little bit more around that today too, so that um, you can obviously get the most out of it. And I wanna to talk to you about push and pull strategies and the hustle around your push and pull strategy. So if we're talking about pull strategies, which is kind of my specialization, it's really about how you bring people to you, you know, where you're not out there having to, I guess really, you know, work hard for the sale, but you're putting your best foot forward and you're showing your personality, you're talking about what you're awesome at, and it draws clients to you. So that's why I call it a pull strategy. So what are some of the ways, if you join, make sure you say hi, I can always see when people are joining. Um, so what are some of the pull strategies? So obviously education-based marketing is always an awesome pull strategy for yourself. So something like this, where you're actually teaching somebody something, you're sharing your knowledge with them, you're adding value, that's always going to endear you to people, they're always gonna be coming back because you offer value. So, and that's a really good way for them to get to know you as well. So get to know who you are, what you talk about, what you stand for, and how you communicate. Because as I say all the time, there will be 10 people in a room that do exactly what you do, but there will only be, you know, you'll resonate with the right people. And um, hey, Natalie, I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> you can interrupt me anytime, that's fine. So I think that um, the pool strategy is really important and having a really solid brand foundation. And when I talk about brand foundation, I'm talking about a really clear message to market. Um, so what is your message as well as what is your unique offering. So when you look at people that do similar things to you, how are you unique and how are you different? Because people love to understand what makes you different as well. So that's part of your brand foundation. So your message, your differentiator, who your target audience is, your look and feel and how you're actually going to put yourself out there. So that's really great to have. And then obviously the education and the value that you provide to people on top of that is gonna make them, you know, the ones that are right for you are gonna love you. And the ones that are not right for you, they're gonna go somewhere else. And that is a-okay because you probably don't wanna work with them anyway. Another pool strategy is also around referrals. So getting your clients to do some of the legwork for you, using your testimonials across your social platforms, getting your clients to refer you as well as give you shout outs. Um, the gorgeous Ileana from Starred by Ileana uh, did a shout out for me and I didn't actually even ask her, which was nice, in the uh, Bayside Women in Business group the other day, which was so lovely. And I had a couple of people connect with me um, based on that as well. So, you know, saying to your clients at either at the end or even during, you know, if at any point in time, you know, you think that it's worth sharing my details with people that you know, then, you know, that would be awesome. I would love that, especially when things are going really well and they're on a high, that's a great time to engage current clients to see if they're happy to give you a shout out as well. So 
Um, and the other thing is just have fun and be unique because like I said, people will be drawn to you and your personality if it resonates with them. So those are just some pull strategies. So the pull is where you're pulling people towards you with what you're doing. Um, so that was education-based marketing, branding really well so that people know what your message and your unique points are, um, referrals too, and then obviously having fun and just being yourself. So those are some pull strategies when it comes to attracting more clients to yourself. So what are the push strategies? So some of the push strategies are obviously to, and I mentioned this the other day when we were talking about getting more clients and people were asking me what CRM system I use, etc is look through the messages and the emails of people that you've spoken to. Um, and you know, if I said this the other day and you still haven't done it, then I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna hope that you're gonna go do it. I would really challenge you to go and do it, is to actually go through old emails or if you do have a CRM system, go through it and touch base with old clients. So go and send them a message and say, hey, I just wanted to check out how you're doing and see you know, if you still need any help. The other thing that I would say as well is to take a look at uh, clients that you've had and touch base with them too because you'll have clients that will go through different stages. So they may have needed you a year or two ago and they might need you again now. So don't underestimate that. And otherwise, it's just really nice just to drop a note just to say, hey, how are you doing? Um, just was think I was thinking of you and thought I'd drop you a message just to check how, how you're going. So think about doing that as well and do that religiously. So the other thing I wanna say is that every week or fortnight, I do this. So if I've got, if I've been speaking with a lot of people or I've had people sort of connect with me and inquire about either working with me or doing something, then I'll go back and I'll say, hey, I just wanted to follow up on the quote I sent through or I just wanted to follow up and say, hey, because we spoke a month ago. So don't kind of let it be what something that you do every six months or once a year. Like have that as part of your sales strategy, whether it's a push or a pull sales strategy. Um, and I know that a lot of women in business struggle with the sales strategy and how they can really either put themselves out there or connect with more clients. So I would really encourage you to try and formalize your sales strategy in a way that works for you. So. Um, really think about how you're connecting with old clients. Maybe put a reminder in the diary um, after six or 12 months of people that you've worked with to give them a buzz again and connect with them. Um, the other thing that I would say is ask for referrals and think of what you could potentially offer clients who give you a referral. So for example, um, one of the things that I usually say to clients is that if they refer somebody to me and that person takes on a 90 day uh, coaching package, then they can have up to $300 credit in my business to spend on anything that they want. So just think about how you can provide incentives for clients who have had amazing results with you. Obviously, they're going to go and probably speak about you anyway, but what is just that extra incentive for them to go and refer people to you and, you know, because they're going to get a kick out of it as well. They're going to get a bonus um, by referring those people to you. The other thing is obviously partnering with people. So partnering with somebody who's got the same audience as you but does something completely different. Um, and this works really, really well. So sit down and have a think about it. About Think about somebody, you know, who is your target audience? And you can actually put it out there too and say, my target audience are women who do X or just, you know, business owners who do X. Um, and this is what they really need and look for. If they're your target audience as well, then let me know and maybe we could do some sort of collaboration. But obviously choose people where you feel that there's a brand alignment and you'd be happy to work with them and you feel like you know, you're probably positioned at the same level too. So make sure that, that is, um, that's aligned before you do that. Um, and the other, the fifth one for the push sales strategy is seasonality. 
So really take a look at what offers you can make based on the time of year. So for you, Natalie, for example, or for anybody who's working with corporate women, potentially January, February is a really hot time of the year because people are looking at, well, am I happy in my career? Is this where I want to be, et cetera? Um, you know, and depending on what else you do. So uh, Ileana from Starbucks, Ileana, we were talking about spring racing carnival. We were talking about Christmas events, etc. So really take a look at your calendar for the year and think about are there seasonal opportunities where you can potentially make an offer to your clients through your subscriber list or through any other way that is going to be a great offer for them at that time of year as well. So for example, I normally do an offer at the end of financial year. So the, um, what is it, the EFS, the EFS sale on membership or the academy, etc. So um, take a look at that and plan for it so that it's not something that's last minute, but that you're actually thinking, okay, in two months, I'm gonna make this offer. I can start positioning it and creating anticipation that there's something coming. So that's the other thing around sales as well is to build a little bit of momentum. The more momentum you get, the more likely you are to get the sale as well. So that was just a really quick Facebook Live. I did wanna, Hey Sheree, um, I did want to uh, just do a quick one because I know that getting more clients was a big topic the other day as well. So just to recap, and I'll put this in the Facebook Live when after I've finished it. So pull strategies for getting more clients is obviously being education-based marketing, so really sharing what you know. Branding that connects, so make sure you've got your foundations right around your messaging, your unique proposition, your look and feel, so that, because people buy with their eyes, I say it all the time. Hey Tracy, how you going? And um, I literally just said it to somebody before, that if your marketing isn't great, then people are gonna not feel excited to buy it. Okay, so it's really important that you create um, a look and feel that resonates with your ideal client. So you obviously have to know who they are and what they want in order for you to create the kind of look and feel that's gonna work for them. Hey, Christy. Um, the other pull marketing strategy was referrals. So getting clients to be spruiking your wares out there as much as possible and, um, and just have fun and be unique. And then the five push strategies was to constantly be connecting with old clients so that you are checking where they are and how they're going. Hey Jenny, how you doing? Um, and how they're going and make that a regular thing. It's not, I just waved at you. Thanks Christy. <laughs> Um, so make sure it's not a six or 12 month thing. Make sure that you are scheduling in every month to go back to old clients and see how they're doing and make that really part of, thanks Natalie, um, and make that part of the way that you work. Send out emails to ex-clients to see how they're going. They might need you again. Um, ask for referrals and think about what you can give people. So I was just saying, get somebody to refer, a, you know, three month coaching to me and they get $300 credit in my business to spend on whatever they want. Uh, partner with somebody on a joint product and then looking at seasonality. Okay, so this is just a really quick Facebook Live, but I wanted to share that with you as well. Um, and, and yeah, hopefully that's helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, I work in my own mind around sales on push and pull strategies. I'm gonna be doing a education-based marketing masterclass in the Exchanger Academy really soon. So if you haven't joined up at the Academy and become a member, then make sure you do. But, um, but yeah, really think about your sales in a really serious way. I think that it is something that, and I could be wrong if I am, let me know, but I think that women in business really struggle with it. So if you can come, um, if you can really, um, you know, section off how you do your sales and marketing in a way that resonates for you, then obviously you'll do it more, it'll be a lot easier and you'll get a lot more traction from it because it's fun and you actually enjoy it. So think about that. So I'm just gonna put down here um, all the tips on a push and pull sales strategy for you. And yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. But otherwise, happy Friday. So excited, it's almost the weekend. Lots to do today, but have an awesome one. And uh, I'll speak to you soon.
Bye.